Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Baxter and I'm a developer advocate uh, for Codename Bluemix at IBM. And today I'd just like to give you a quick demonstration of a new sample application we have posted out to GitHub in the Codename Bluemix uh, organization. Uh, it's called Blue Chatter. And Blue Chatter is a very simple application. It's a, um, a, a chat or IRC type of application uh, that runs in your web browser that you can uh, used to chat between multiple people, any number of people actually. And uh, while it's not something that you probably use every day, it is a good demonstration of how to deal with scaling and scaling your applications in Bluemix and uh, how you can take advantage of services to, to deal with scaling uh, your application in Bluemix. So I'd like to give you a quick uh, tutorial of how to use the application and um, show you what it's all about. So the first thing we need to do is uh, to clone the Git repo. Um, so let's just copy the uh, URL here to the git repo and we'll open our terminal window and we'll just do a git clone uh, to the, the git repo. Okay, and the repo is finished uh, cloning so let's just uh, cd into the blue chatter uh, directory here. And if we take a look uh, back in the readme uh, for the, the repository on GitHub, um, we can see uh, very simple instructions on how to deploy the application to Bluemix to test it out. So um, after we've cloned it, we just need to make sure we, we've logged in using the uh, CF command uh, login uh, to Bluemix. So let's just make sure we're logged in. So we'll do CF login dash A and the API endpoint to Bluemix, which is api.ng.bluemix.net. And I'll ask you for your username. So enter your IBM uh, ID and your password and once you've logged in you can now start deploying the application so we're logged in and the next thing we need to do is actually deploy uh, create an instance of the Redis service uh, to use for the applications. Now it's very important that we keep uh, execute this command exactly it's expecting the service to be called Redis Chatter uh, so we need to make sure that uh, we execute this and create a Redis service with the name Redis Chatter. So we'll just copy this command uh, into our terminal window and execute that. And we can see now we have our Redis Chatter service has been created. So now we can actually go ahead and deploy uh, to Bluemix. So we've already cloned the repo. We've already uh, CD'd into the, the directory. And now we just need to um, push uh, the application to, uh, to Bluemix. So uh, the push command is, is very simple. Uh, that's because this application is using um, a manifest file, so uh, the push is relatively uh, simple. Okay, we can see that the application has now started and is up and running in Bluemix, so uh, we're just going to navigate to this URL and show you what it's all about. Um, but let's do that in a different browser for now. Let's open up Chrome here. And we'll go to this URL here. And let's actually open up a few different browsers here. So we'll open up Safari as well and go to the application. And let's also open up uh, iOS, uh, an iOS device, a mobile device, and head to the application as well. Okay, so uh, it first asks you for a username. You can pick whatever name you want. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be unique, um, but you can pick whatever name you want. So I'm gonna Enter Ryan in Safari here, uh, John in Chrome, and Bob in uh, iOS here. Okay, so now you can start typing. So let's see who's around. Say, is anyone there? And we can see that as you type, uh, users type messages, they instantly show up in the various uh, browsers on the various devices. So no matter uh, what uh, browser you're using or um, or what uh, platform you're on, if you're on iOS or an Android device, um, everything uh, will work. Uh, so you can type your messages and, and everything shows up instantly. So the way this is working is um, that actually uh, the Blue Chatter application is using what's called long polling. So uh, it's sending a request to the server. The server is holding on to that request until there is a, uh, uh, a message that comes across from another uh, client and then once a message is received it will uh, respond to that request 
uh, with the message and then it shows up in your client. Um, so it's pretty simple uh, application and it's pretty actually implemented in Node which is makes long polling pretty easy to implement so that's why we chose to do it in Node. Um, but as I said, this, this application is really about scaling, right? And the demonstration is really about showing you how to scale. So as we know, when we scale applications in, in Cloud Foundry or in Bluemix, uh, what it means to scale an application is to actually uh, create multiple instances of the application. And you typically want to do this when there's this heavy load uh, on your application. You have a, a ton of users hitting the application, and one instance just isn't going to do uh, you want to create multiple instances of it running uh, at the same time. But in that case, how do we control uh, the messaging, right? So if we have one user on instance one and another user on instance two and another user on instance three and they're all typing messages, how do the different instances of the, app instances of the application know uh, uh, the messages that are being typed and sent? Uh, and this is where the Redis service comes in. The Redis service is, a, there's a single Redis service that all the instances will be using. And uh, it has a nice pub sub feature so that when one server publishes a message, the other services will instantly get that message and then can send that message back to their clients. Um, so as a convenience to demonstrate this, you can see at the bottom we have uh, uh, the application displays the instance ID. So this is the unique ID of the uh, instance of the application that the client has connected to. So let's go ahead and scale uh, the Blue Chatter application. So we can easily do this with the CF scale command. Uh, so we can do CF scale the application name, which is Blue Chatter, and uh, dash i to represent the number of instances. And let's scale it up to 10 instances uh, just to see what happens. So I'll execute this command, and in a matter of moments, uh, we'll have uh, 10 instances of our application up and running. So that's done, and we can check the status of uh, all the instances by executing a CF app and then typing in the name of the application. And we see we now have instance 0 through 9 uh, running. Uh, they're all up and running. So now if we uh, refresh in our browsers here, we can try to connect to different instances. So we refresh, and we can see we have instance ID A43 here in Safari, in Chrome, we have instance ID EF6, so that's two different instances. And in uh, iOS, we'll refresh, and we have 3.1.f. So each, each client is now talking to a, a different server instance. So let's try our demo again. I'll try to log in as Ryan here, and John here, and Bob here. And let's try sending the messages. And you can see, even though they're all using different instances, that uh, um, that uh, messages are coming across, uh, and you can send and receive messages uh, from each each client um, instantly. And this again is taking advantage of the uh, the Redis service to do this. So. Um, that's just a quick demonstration of how to use the application and how to, how and what it does and what it's trying to demonstrate. Um, so I hope you find it useful and you can can use services like the Redis service um, in in your applications as well. Thanks.